Welcome to Rooster TV, our first episode for 2022. And today we've got our uh, coach in charge at the moment, why Serge is uh, at home putting the feet up, uh, Darren Reeves. Darren, thanks for joining us. Our pleasure to be here, Tubbs, as always. Yep. So how's the uh, last seven to ten days been, mate? You've uh, had to take charge after uh, Serge went into isolation last Thursday. And, um, yeah, how, how have you enjoyed it? No, it's been a great fun to start with. I mean, obviously it was a different week last week. Um, we had blokes go down with COVID early in the week, and so it was all over the place. We had to sort of put off training Thursday night. So, um, yeah, then Serge went down, unfortunately. Um, so, no, it's been a great experience, great learning again, just another step for me to keep learning and keep developing. So I really enjoyed it. Um, but, yeah, just then allows me to remember the, uh, the task that it is, and it's, it's a big task. Yep. And we'll just go through our, our first two games. Yep. Obviously, we uh, started the uh, season against uh, Woodville down at... Uh, Morn Team Kia Oval, and um, yeah, we got off to a great start in the league. The reserves, uh, they got close, but not quite, uh, didn't get quite get the chocolates. But uh, yeah, just talk us through both games. Yeah, the reserves was a little bit disappointing because we'd actually played some good footy um, in the in the trial the week the previous week. Um, so it was a bit disappointing, but there were some good signs still. Some, some guys played some good footy. Obviously, Jacob Bauer played really nice footy up forward and then translated that into league footy this week. Um, Matty Longbottom, another new guy to the footy club, was very solid. Um, Will Schreiber, another new bloke to the footy club, was, was really solid as well. So there were some nice con- contributions. Um, just disappointing we didn't quite get there in the end. And it was a good lesson for the guys that you need to turn up with great intensity. So that was disappointing. Um, from a league perspective, it was a, an outstanding first up start. We, um, we felt like we'd seen some signs through the trial games that how we wanted to play football would, would hold up strong. And... Um, we were able to put it together for four quarters that day, so it was really, really pleasing. Yeah, and we did have a, a few debutants that day, and obviously there, we had two that uh, played the first game and missed out in the second, like we had Will Gowers and, and Reed Van Hoosty. So just give us a quick uh, your thoughts on those two. Yeah, I mean Reed is a um, a big, strong key defender from the Swans Academy. Um, he does everything right. He trains the house down every training session. Um, very committed and and focused on where he needs to go and what he want and what he needs to do to get there. Um, Will. Similar, like he's got great um, attributes to be a really strong league footballer. Um, unfortunately, he had a little hammy issue. He's had a bit of issues with his with his body over the preseason and has, hasn't been able to string long time together. But he did show what he could do in his three quarters on the ground. His great running capacity and he uses the ball very very well. So he's going to be a very good player for us moving forward. Yeah, and then a guy that you have had a lot to do with with getting him down in the first place, and yeah. then um, you know making him settled at the at the club this year. And Nigel Lockyer, he's he's an, the excitement machine that's taken a, a quite a few uh, pretty pretty good marks so far. Just to talk us through your relationship with him and how he's going. Yeah, I'm mean, unfortunately I was able to to play a part in, with him coaching him at the Thunder program. He was based in Alice Springs, so spent a lot of time on the phone with him, and he obviously played some really solid football at NEFL level and. Um, so we've kept in contact through that, and then obviously the Red Tails, is, the program has kicked off, and we're part of that. And he's the he's the face of that essentially, and the way he's going about it. And then to have him down here full time now, and settled in, and working, and training full time, um, he's got incredible talent. He's a really good person. Um, He's got some things to keep working on and there's a great learning experience for the first couple of weeks for him. But what we've seen in those two games is that he can rip games apart if he gets the opportunity. So we're excited to see that yep. transpire. And Yeah, and the other debutant in round one is probably the, the surprise packet for all of us in terms of where he's come from. We're winning a medal in the Barossa and you know, having a pre-season and just finding his feet at this level. But definitely, definitely um, showed that he, he can play it play it uh, very well um, Harrison Elbro just some words on him yeah so actually fortunately I have a little bit to do with him as well at under 18 levels at Central and always felt like he had the talent um, he's obviously gone away and matured at some local level football won a medal last year he's got explosive speed out of contest he's very clean with his hands um, he just has a unique ability to pop up at the right place at the right time a lot so we feel like he's going to be a really good player for us moving forward and then on to uh, last week's game uh, we come up against a pretty strong Adelaide team yeah. Thought we gave ourselves opportunities to kick a score. We yeah. just turned the ball over, and probably the probably the ball outside the uh, the first source probably got us a little bit. But uh, yeah, talk us through the game quickly. Um, yeah, they were a quality team, well, but we felt like we matched them in a lot of areas. Their ability to be able to transition the ball from turnover, particularly from their back half of the ground, was very very good. And, um, so great experience for our guys. We feel like we did a lot right, but. There's a lot of areas that we need to get better, and that was probably the execution for us going forward, actually putting those opportunities on the scoreboard. Um, but around the ball and, and in general play, felt like we matched them, um, felt like we take a lot out of it, but 
be disappointed that we didn't get the result and um, look to improve on that this week. And you mentioned Jacob Bow before, he's the round two breakthrough player yeah. of, the, of the round for the sample to come in and kick five, take six marks and basically get us back in the game in the second quarter with yeah. three three goals in a seven or eight minute period. Um, he's unique and uh, yeah, he's a joy to watch. He is. So we felt like he was a defender when he first came. We played a lot of him in the pre-season stuff through defence in the first few trial games and threw him forward second half of the reserves trial against Norwood, kicked four in the second half and we felt like he had something to offer. Obviously, he then kicked four against the Eagles in the twos and then um, he's got incredible hands. He takes the ball at the highest point. He's still got to develop in his body a little bit, but his ability to be able to read it and mark it when the opportunity presents is very strong and he's actually then kicked the ball for goal very well. Um, so, yeah, he's a really talented player. Yeah. And just some of the stronger performers for you over the first two rounds? Uh, I mean, Harrison Wiggs been very strong. Andrew, uh, Aaron Young, very strong. Mitch Harvey, very, very good um, in both games. Um, we've, and then we've had some other guys that have done great jobs. Dyson Hilda, who we felt like was going okay through the trial games, but not getting a lot of ball, has stepped up and been very strong. Kenny Ramsey, obviously very strong in the first round. We get him back into the side this week, which makes us a different side. Um, so there's been some really strong performances. And then we're now seeing Campbell Coombe getting going after an interrupted pre-season. Will Coombe getting going, those types getting going for us, which is really, really impressive. And I think the captain's probably led the way in both games. He's been outstanding in both games as well. You just talk about getting Cannon back. Obviously, the, the world we live in is a little bit different to what we've seen in the past with the COVID situation. And, you know, we've had to sort of deal with it once or twice over the pre-season. Yeah. Just talk us through the difficulties around that. Well, it's just, it is what it is. We just have to make sure we deal with it. And um, blokes are going to go down at different times. We've just got to be really um, tight on how we do things around the club and make sure we're limiting the time we spend inside together, etc. cetera. Um, we just have to understand that, there's going to be times when blokes are going to get opportunities based on that. And what we found last week is we've got some guys that can stand up and, and be counted when it matters. So we just have to deal with it. Every, every other club is going to have those problems at some point. So that's just the world we live in. Yep. So. And we move on to this week's game, Good Friday against the uh, Centrals. You've obviously been out there, so we'll call that the Darren Reeves Cup this week for uh, the Roosters and the Bulldogs. But uh, yeah, just talk us through. They've, uh, they've been reasonably impressive in their first two games. Yeah. And we're going to be up for the fight. Yeah, they have, I mean, they've obviously added some new players to the footy club that are in areas that they needed to, to add them and they've looked really impressive so far, but they're, they're old time stayers. The, Sh- the Schiller boys have been outstanding in the first couple of rounds. Justin Hostin comes back in and kicks three last week. He's still a quality player at this level. Um, but they've got some young, talented kids as well. So they're going to be, we know they're fit. They've clearly run over teams in the first two weeks of the season. So they're going to be a, a great challenge for us this week. Mm. We can actually throw in the uh, the Greg Edwards Cup too, can't we? Maybe yeah. it's the uh, Edwards Rays Cup this yep. week. So yep. we'll, we'll uh, look after Greg when he comes back this week and hopefully send him back uh, with, a, with a loss between his legs. But uh, massive game for the footy club this yep. uh, Friday. We've got... Uh, the reserves at 11.30 normal time, league at 2.10. It'd be great to see a heap of red and white down here supporting the boys. And uh, yeah, they're an exciting bunch and we look forward to a really good result on Friday. Thanks, Darren. And all the best. Cheers.